Hi everyone, welcome back to my YouTube channel. For those of you that don't know me, my name is Melissa Morrell and this is Monty. He often appears in my videos at um, all the wrong times. But today's video is slightly different. It's a little bit, oh here he goes, it's a little bit of an impromptu video because this week we have had the most bizarre weather here in the UK. We have literally had a heat wave at one end of the week and then we've been in things like this like I'm wearing today because it's dull, it's dark outside and it's raining. So I thought why not show you what I've actually worn this week and how I handled the extreme weather conditions. Well not extreme, we didn't go to snow or anything, we're still in summer spring but you know I was going from a play suit one minute to jumpers and jogging pants the next. So today I wanted to mention something to you that I very rarely mention on this channel and that is investing in investment pieces. Now investment pieces for me probably is completely different to most other YouTubers um, that do these fashion channels because investment pieces to me are things that I wear every day. It just blows my mind to be honest that people will spend I don't know, £500, $500 or whatever um, on a dress for one event, yet they won't invest in the items that they are spending every single day in. So I like to flip things around. So I am prepared to invest in my jogging pants that I wear all the time as soon as I get in from work or a really good quality jeans. And the place that I go to for any investment like that is Farfetch. And they have kindly sponsored this part of the video for me. And they've given me a discount code, which I will put along the bottom of the screen. And it will also be in the description boxes as well. But if you don't know of them, they are an amazing platform, but not just for more investment pieces, but also for exposing you to a whole range of other brands, literally international brands from all over the world. They deliver all over the world as well. So it's great for my audience that um, range from Australia to Africa, America and Europe and everywhere in between. And I can always rely on them for the delivery as well. So they're fantastic. If something doesn't fit, return it and they refund really, really quickly. So starting off with a piece that I literally wear all the time and that is my Anine Bing jogging pants. Grey jogging pants. I've actually got the matching jumper as well. I'll insert a picture of that but the quality is amazing. And the best thing about these is that you don't get a saggy bum by the end of the day. You know, with jogging pants, how your knees sag a little bit and your bottom looks 10 times as big by the time you've worn them, you don't get that with a really nice quality. And I know a lot of people will say it's just a gray jogging pant, but honestly, the fit is so much nicer than a normal jogging, jogging pair of um, trousers. They've got the Anine Bing look logo there on them as well. I would say size down, all of her stuff comes up really big. And on that note, the jumper that I've more recently bought, which is like a sort of a petrol navy blue type of colour to go with the pants. This is a size small and that is coming up really big. But just try and think about how you wear it because often I will wear this with my uh, gym, gym leggings. And so I want it quite big and baggy because I want it sort of coming down to my me thigh covering my bottom. So in, in that situation, stick to your normal size. But if you like it quite tight and fitted and you want to wear it with a baggy or jogging pant, then I'd probably go down a size this was a small and I definitely would have gone down to an extra small if I just plan on wearing it with my jogging pants but really really nice fabric nice designer brand but not too expensive I've also got a big tote bag as well in her brand that I wear all the time I, I think it'll appear on some of the videos coming up 
Now something to note, even when I'm in my jogging set, is I still wear my jewellery. I've got Monica Vinader on here and I've got this lovely Tory Birch, which again was from Farfetch. But I keep my jewellery relatively simple, so instead of wearing quite a lot of bracelets, I just wear this one, which is just really easy to take on and off but the jewellery makes a difference it stops the jogging pants looking like you've just thrown on a pair of jogging pants and it looks more like you've got a styled outfit on so don't forget your jewellery in that scenario so next item i bought from farfetch were these redone jeans if you haven't heard of Redon, they are the brand that recycles, repurposes jeans, like a lot from the Levi's collection. I think they do from other collections as well, but oh my goodness, they are the softest, most beautifully fitting jeans that I think I have ever worn. They do come with a hefty price tag and I had convinced myself that my Zara ones were pretty much exactly the same when I pulled these ones out of the bag. I was like, oh, there's nothing that much special about them and I put them on and they literally just fit you like a glove. And that said, I haven't taken the labels off yet because I got a waist 27 and I need to go down a size. It'd be my recommendation to go down a size but yeah, they fit absolutely beautiful. They're really, really soft. So I do find, I, I love like my Zara jeans because they're just cheap, they're like 20 quid, whatever. Um, but when I put these on, they just felt like a special pair of trousers. So I'm definitely going to be swapping them for the 26 for sure. And you can really easily style these up. I think here I put them with a blue blazer um but i put them with heels just keeping the styling really simple i've used my annie bing bag here as well and i just think when you've got a good pair of quality jeans on that you feel nice in then that's the key to sort of creating that maximum style minimum effort type of look so all the links to these Farfetch items are in the description box. Please do use the discount code. Every little bit helps. And yeah, enjoy exploring for some new different international brands on there. Now talking about new brands, it's a new brand that has come to my attention because I have got a client that I'm filming on Monday who has issues with her feet. And this company produce the most gorgeous shoes for anybody who's got feet issues. They're called Cala, um, and there they are. And I paired these with the Reese jogging bottoms that I have got on right now, and just this H&M jumper. And uh, they're leather, so you can wash them all down. They're beautiful. They make any trainer type of out, outfit look a little bit more elevated but the great thing about these is if you've got bunions and just feet issues then they're made for people that have the feet problems so they're a lot wider they're super comfortable i didn't even need to wear a pair of socks with them they were that nice and as you can see here i've paired them with my joggers as I said but I in one breath I've put a silk reese top with them and just thrown my jumper over my shoulders but then if it's chilly outside like it is today then I can easily put my cream jumper over the top and the reason it, it works is because both my vest and my jumper are in exactly the same colours. If I'd started mixing up those colours, there's a chance that the whole outfit wouldn't have worked so easy. Now, you could have gone for like a bright pink jumper, for example, something that you know are contrasting, but just keeping it neutral and blending it in with the trainers and the side stripe means that you know you're always going to look styled. And you know how I like elevating an outfit up, so all I've done here is grabbed my River Island blazer and taken the jumper off. But you could have kept the jumper on as well if you needed those layers. I've certainly needed them this week at times. And now you've got a really quite relaxed but sophisticated, smart, casual outfit. 
The fabric on this blazer is lovely as well. I think it's a linen blend, I'll double check, but it doesn't crease up as much as a pure 100% linen. It's also got the ruched sleeves as well, which means that you're not constantly having to push your sleeves up because as we all know, if you've been watching my channel, you want to show your wrists and your ankles because that will make you look smaller all over. And it will also, if you're small like me, it will stop a blazer or an oversized jacket overwhelming your frame. Now as the week went on and the sun started to shine we got a little bit braver with our colours. The white jeans have come out. These ones are just from Zara. I'll link some as well. I think they had them in Mango. But I've kept the same blazer on from River Island, the same vest silk top from Reese. And this time, just for the sunnier weather, I've put on some sandals from Bowdoin and a straw bag as well. So introduction of the straw bag and the sandals just makes the outfit look more summery. Now, if you need to split up that chest area, then as you can see here, I've done is put a pair of sunglasses down my top and I've kind of wedged them in my bra so they they stay still but that's a great tool that you can use for splitting up that centre bit when you haven't got your sunglasses and maybe a long necklace isn't appropriate. I just realised that Monty's snoring so I apologise if you can hear that he's fast asleep next to me. And so next up we've got this really nice little set. Again it's from River Island International Delivery all over the world. It's this cute co-ord set but there's no reason why you can't wear it as separates. Um, but it's a beautiful little set. It did stretch probably within a couple of hours of wearing it. I'm wearing it in a UK 10 on the bottom and an 8 on the top but actually I think I could have done a UK 8 on both of the top and the bottom bits. You can pull the top out if you want if you need that little extra coverage over your stomach but I tucked it in because I wanted it to look more like a play suit. And the advantage of the two-piece set is obviously going to the loo part. It's a lot easier than having a play suit on when you're sitting on the toilet in your bra. So definitely an advan advantage there. But I love this suit. It's got really strong shoulders on. It's baggy enough on the arms to cover up any bat wings which is great and when paired with the straw bag from Mango I think it looks really sweet. Again I've got my Monica Vinader jewellery on and my Tory Birch um, bracelet from Farfetch. So by this point in the week it had got really really hot but I was out shopping with a client in a shopping centre environment so I'm not overly confident in walking around that type of environment with my legs out so I do like to wear more of a maxi dress but I still needed to be really cool and so I picked out this dress from Cupshe and I'm about to do a big swimwear video by the way with loads of Cupshe uh, swimsuits suitable for all the different body shapes and this is one of the dresses that they sent me and it is gorgeous. It's missing some pockets. I would love it if it had pockets uh, but other than that it's gorgeous and it was really really inexpensive. The bit I love about this dress is that you can tie the straps wherever you want and you can create a bow if you need to create extra volume on the shoulder areas to balance out the hips. It's beautiful around the bust line, comes in really nice and tight and you'll often find that a square neck is very flattering on most body shapes because it halves the bust area um, but it kind of creates a really nice bust shape as well. Uh, it's lovely at the back, really long so I'm five foot three and a half so went right the way down to my ankles and I paired it here with just some brown sliders. Again I will link everything for you but it was really really cool dress to wear all day long in the shopping centre. Don't don't forget your jewellery. I've worn the same jewellery all week actually so you don't need to be changing it up. It was just the really simple bracelet and Monica Vinader necklace set. And next we had this really beautiful, again very inexpensive play suit set. So yes, more difficult to go to the toilet in um, from Zara. A white bro anglais broderie broadery anglais. I can never say that. That's terrible that I'm in the fashion world and I can't say that. 
Uh, but you know what I mean, I, I'm putting the pictures at the side. But it's a really, really lovely fit. You can see the, the sleeves are quite long and I just again wanted to show my wrist area and a little bit more flesh and by this time in the week as well it was super, super hot. So rolling the sleeves up looked just as nice. You can also see the shorts are quite baggy which is brilliant because it's going to make my legs look smaller when they are sticking out from the shorts than, uh, than if the shorts were really tight around my le leg. So I've used the sunglasses again to split that middle area up but I've also used the sunglasses because where the button came to on the chest area was just a little bit too low for me. It exposed a little bit too much of my cleavage. So the sunglasses are great popping them in there because that hides that a little bit. But a really lovely, cool uh, play suit. But if you don't want to get your legs out. What you could do is put a white top on and wet white pair of jeans and you can kind of create the same type of look but without showing your legs off. But I think this is really nice. I like the buttons down the front part of the shorts. I think that helps. The elasticated waist made it really, really comfortable as well. And definitely a keeper for me in my wardrobe. I will link it down below for you. Now, as much as I love that last play suit, I can't go for a dog walk in that play suit and walking Monty here takes up a good couple of hours of my day most days and I live in the middle of the countryside so white is just not going to cut it. So I always have in my wardrobe more of like a utility type of play suit or again maybe a utility pair of shorts and a matching set so it looks like a play suit, like a coordinated set. Actually, I showed in my last video a set from Arquette. I'll put in a clip of that as well for you because that's really good for just walking around as well. So same type of style. Again, this one was from Zara, but it was last year. But I found some really nice ones in Mango. So I will link those for you. But just a lot more practical. But there's no reason why you can't add a little straw bag to this, a nice pair of shoes. And it would be absolutely fine for a nice summer day day but uh, I just tend to keep mine for my dog walks in. I just can't I can't stress this enough that when you are wearing a pair of shorts or a play suit and you want your legs to look slip more slender then you want to make sure that the shorts are baggier than your legs. So that's it for today's video. Thank you for watching. I told you it was going to be a quick one. I'm really hoping that given that we covered everything from jogging pants to play suits that there's going to be something in there for all of my audience in all different weather conditions all over the world. So I am filming again tomorrow with a lady with a very large chest and a larger stomach and then I have got a swimsuit special coming up for you as well. So so I will see you very shortly. Thank you for watching.